When using Dexpan non-explosive demolition agent to demolish mass reinforced concrete or rock, there are only three easy steps to succeed. Drill, mix, and pour. Dexpan is capable of demolishing multi-ton weight reinforced concrete structures and rock. Dexpan non-explosive controlled demolition agent is a powder with amazing 18,000 PSI expansive strength when mixed with common water. Poured into the same holes where explosives are traditionally placed, Dexpan breaks reinforced concrete and rock safely while providing silent cracking. As an alternative to explosive blasting, traditional demolition tools and quarry mining equipment, Dexpan works without the worries of noise, implosions, air blasts, ground vibration, flying rock, or dust. Dexpan does not require blasting permits, certifications, high secured storage, special shipping, maintenance, and or insurance. Dexpan non-explosive controlled demolition agent is safer, easier, and more cost effective. Visit us at www.dexpan.com to view hundreds of actual job pictures, introduction videos, frequently asked questions, and our MSDS material safety data sheet. Call our toll-free number at 1-866-272-4378, U.S. only. Outside the U.S.? No problem. Simply call 575-874-9188 for free job estimates and drilling patterns. Ask about our free 11-pound trial bucket, a $35 value. Shipping not included. For business only, other restrictions apply. Archer Company is always looking for distributors. Both domestic and international representatives are welcome to inquire. Dexpan cracks according to the drilling pattern, so demolition contractors, drilling and blasting contractors can easily break reinforced concrete or rock into desired sizes and shapes so they may cut off exposed rebar and haul demolished chunks away with a crane or excavator without damaging the desired remaining parts. Dexpan may also work for underwater demolition by using plastic tubing for rocks, piers, or quarries. In the mining and stone quarrying industry, Dexpan helps quarry owners or blasters quarry perfect slabs and blocks from limestone, onyx, marble, granite, sandstone, flagstone, or many other types of natural stone they are working with. Compared to explosive blasting and detonating cord, Dexpan avoids waste of valuable stone, the high cost of blasting insurance, storage, and labor, not to mention increased safety and stone production. Compared to diamond wire sawing machines, Dexpan avoids the high cost of equipment, replacing diamond wire, complicated setup, relocation, and maintenance, and there is no limited cutting distance due to the length of diamond wire and no cooling water and high voltage power supplies required. Dexpan non-explosive controlled demolition agent can also be applied along with traditional demolition tools like jackhammers, wrecking balls, hydraulic breakers, diamond blade concrete saws, diamond wire sawing machines, and chainsaw stone cutters to help cut cost and work time and increase safety. Plus, because it works as silent demolition, Dexpan is perfect for demolition contractors, drilling and blasting contractors who work in residential, schools, hospitals, airports, and other noise, ground vibration, air blast, or dust-restricted areas. Depending on usable ambient temperature, there are three types of Dexpan. Dexpan is available in two types of packing. When using Dexpan non-explosive demolition agent to demolish mass-reinforced concrete or rock, there are only three easy steps to succeed. Drill, mix, and pour. In this instruction video demonstration, a small concrete block is used. Dimensions 3 feet by 3 feet by 2 feet, reinforced with half-inch rebar, approximately 4,000 PSI. Preparation and tools required. Drill holes using a hammer or rock drill with the appropriate drill bit specific to the rock or concrete type. Track drills are recommended for larger applications such as rock quarrying. A hand drill with a mixing paddle and a flat bottom bucket is recommended to mix the Dexpan. As an option, a 500 milliliter soft drink bottle can be used to measure water. Be sure to select the correct type of Dexpan for the proper temperature range. In this demonstration, the temperature was about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so Dexpan 2 was used. 
safety precautions. For your protection, wear safety glasses, a dust mask, rubber gloves, and proper clothing when working with Dexpan. Avoid eye and skin contact and do not inhale the dust. Step 1. Drilling. Holes should be drilled no further than 1 foot or 30 centimeters apart unless instructed otherwise. Note, in reinforced concrete, it's recommended not to space the holes more than 8 inches or 20 centimeters apart. The recommended hole diameter is 1.5 inches or 3.8 centimeters, not exceeding 2 inches in diameter or 5 centimeters. Drilled holes should be 80 to 90 percent of the depth. Do not go completely through unless instructed otherwise. Make sure that the rock or concrete has an open face for expansion equal to the drilling depth. If there is no expansive space, extra holes may have to be drilled and protrude the rock or concrete. Refer to www.dexpan.com for specific instructions on creating expansion space or simply contact our technical staff. Dexpan slurry should be poured into plastic tubing, keeping it from contacting water. Clean holes after drilling using an air hose or vacuum to remove excess dust. This is not a requirement, but is recommended for best results. Step 2. Mixing. Using three 500 milliliter soft drink bottles, make exactly 0.4 gallons, or 1.5 liter of water, to mix with one 11-pound bag of Dexpan. Pour the water into the bucket. If you purchased a Dexpan bucket, the water should be filled up to the top of the black bar. Use a drill with a paddle to mix Dexpan and water well. If mixing with a stick or other methods, make sure Dexpan is completely dissolved into the water and mixed to a slurry form. Step 3. Pouring. The Dexpan slurry should be poured into holes within 10 to 15 minutes after mixing. Only fill the holes about 1 half to 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters from the top. A grout pump might be required to fill horizontal holes. You may also mix Dexpan thicker and push it into horizontal holes. Caps or wooden dowels may be used to contain the Dexpan in the horizontal holes. This is only necessary to hold the Dexpan in the holes. Coverage. Normally, one 44-pound or 20-kilogram box of Dexpan will fill up to 35 lineal feet, that's 10 meters, of 1.5 inch or 3.8 centimeter diameter holes. The coverage area of the dex pan can be extended by filling every other drilled hole as long as the material is not reinforced. Doing this may decrease the setup time but is more cost effective by using less material. Please contact our technical staff to find out if this would be recommended for your particular job. After pouring, use a rod or a stick to agitate the dex pan in the hole making sure no air is trapped in holes. Do not leave excess Dexpan slurry in the bucket as blowouts may occur. Do not look directly into filled holes as blowouts may occur. Always use proper protection. Dispose of waste according to federal, state, and or local regulations. Be sure to protect the filled holes from direct sunlight, rain, and snow. Dexpan cracking or breaking time. Properly drilled and mixed, the cracks may appear after two hours of filling, depending on ambient temperature, humidity, and rock or concrete hardness. Give the Dexpan slurry 24 hours for best results. Although the Dexpan slurry may look dry on top, it does not mean it has stopped working. Please allow the full 24 hours before calling our technical department. As you can see, after six hours, hairline cracks appear in this concrete block filled with rebar. Tip 1. Well-designed hole drilling patterns will minimize consumption of Dexpan by cutting into desired sizes. Just 15 minutes later, cracks are getting wider and deeper. Tip 2. To ensure success, Dexpan needs free space to expand to. 30 minutes after the hairline cracks began, the Dexpan is continuing to expand faster. Tip 3. For better results, it's important to note both air and material temperature. Material temperature is the temperature inside of the rock or concrete, which can be different from the air temperature. 6 hours, 45 minutes. Tip 4. If Dexpan completely dries into a powder and did not crack, pour additional water onto Dexpan-filled holes to restart the process. It is important to remember that just because the Dexpan appears dry on top does not mean it has stopped working.
so please allow the full 24 hours for it to complete the process. Seven hours after pouring, Dexpan cracks are well developed and the concrete is ready to be disposed of. Dexpan non-explosive controlled demolition agent, the easy to use, cost effective way to work safer. Visit us at www.dexpan.com to view hundreds of actual job pictures, testimonials, introduction videos, frequently asked questions, and MSDS material safety data sheet. Thank you for watching.